so now let's see how to implement dependency in Jackson. So as I was saying, like uh, in this coming module, I will implement dependency in Jackson as well in order to simplify the process that how we are building any repository pattern kind of uh, application. But in this application, this is a sample app, so I didn't follow any uh, particular repository pattern. In case of repository pattern, what we used to do is we used to have a, a sample class library uh, project wherein my all repositories are there like all the dependence repository from where I am using one service core in order to simplify those uh, dependencies so in order to simplify those repository or um, uh, to make those calls uh, to get the data from the DB itself what we used to do is uh, we used to rely on dependency injection so dependency injection out of the box at the runtime uh, take the uh, particular instance of that particular class which I need and just bring in all the required uh, data for me and then it will simply against those uh, those data I can simply go ahead and query my uh, I can write my inline query or link query or whatever whatever way you would like to implement on the uh, controller and then produce the same on that view itself so how to do that so as I was saying, saying that uh, it basically whenever we talk about uh, DI, we usually talk about doing uh, doing the way what do you say? Uh, doing the way uh, constructor injection way. So when I say constructor injection way, so this is my dependency over here. I would like to resolve it. So what I would like to do here is um, I'll go ahead and create one constructor. So this constructor is going to have a parameter inside and that is going to be of the interface of this one so for that I'm going to do that I movie DB and let's say movie DB now uh, this particular sample controller can have any number of methods right and for that to simplify this I need to have a local variable so that it can be used in multiple methods so for that I will go ahead and create one my let's say movie DB itself and that will get assigned with this reference now I need to go ahead and create this guy so I will simply create the field here so now the, this field is being created. Now I can simply go ahead and remove this dependency and with that in place what I would say movie DB oh sorry here I can simply say rather than going this way I will say movie DB dot query so I'm going to make the query against my one of the I queryable object or that turn T object like um, I have uh, two DB sets of air like either it would, could be a movie type or it could be a movie review type so in the last section I have uh, queried again movie type so this time let's go ahead and try for that movie review type so I will take this query and here I will simply go ahead and let's say movie reviews and I would like to simply go ahead and list this out that's it and then I'm going to return the results so let's go ahead and build it okay now it built successfully now let's see uh, what are the things uh, it is going to give me here when I do API sample so here an exception message appeared so it doesn't have a default uh, constructor it is saying so this generally happens because um, out of the box I am not having DI resolver installed in my project actually I do have but I have not implemented here here you can see that uh, in my project I have already installed installed this ninjacked so if you don't have uh, so for installing this 
So Ninja, uh, let me first explain this. Uh, Ninja is my DI container which I am using here. You can obviously use a structure map or others which you are familiar with. But I am using Ninja over here. So for installing this, what you can do is you can go to the new gate and simply type Ninja dot MVC3. So here as you can see this um, I have already installed this so hence it is coming as a tick mark so but this naming is bit confusing so don't uh, go with this name uh, this implies for MVC4 project as well so once you have done this once you have installed this so it will create one configuration file over here so this configuration file is nothing but a bootstrap file so which says that whenever you are uh, web server is going to be started so it is going to register all the services which is going to be listed here and this service is nothing but the all dependency uh, which is which you are going to resolve in your project or which you are going to need in your project so which, whatever dependencies what you are going to need in your project it has to be registered in this particular portion so here I need this my movie DB so what I am going to do this in that kernel object I am going to bind this so I would be needing iMovie DB because I am having that dependency on that. So two to movie DB. That's it. Now one more thing I need to understand here is if you see the sample controller, I was initially dependent on this having the new of movie DB. So this is my context class basically. So here I am using this and assigning this here in my local variable, right? So I would be needing this resolver as well. So for that, what I will be doing here is dot bind movie db is going to map to movie db itself. All right. Now I'll simply go ahead and build this. Okay, so now this is built, and now when I go and refresh this, So it, it still it is producing me the same error and the reason for this is because uh, when you see this web API project web API and inject implementation so it actually implements HTTP application or HTTP modules which is nothing but for MVC project uh, by default it doesn't implement for web API settings so whenever you are making any API controller call it has to be simplified for uh, for that dependency as well but ninja web command is not going to uh, resolve those dependency by default if it would have been a MVC call then it could have been resolved but for web API I am going to need one more reference and for that I am going to add web API contrib dot IOC so as you can see this, this ninja dependency I have already installed here. So you need to install this in your project. Once you have installed this, then what you can do here is you can invoke this particular web API settings over here. So while registering the kernel, just before registering the kernel, you need to have this configuration in place. So from that global configuration and configuration, you need to have a dependency resolver which is going to resolve for this ninja resolver and you can see this that it expects your kernel object so and now this kernel object is having all the reg registry services which you have already registered here so you can simply pass in your kernel object here and now you, when you build it then this should simplify your process and on the runtime it should resolve and it should produce the expected output
so as you can see this this produced me the expected output because i have since i have queried against this movie review context hence it is uh, produced and there is only one record in that particular table hence it is given me that particular record here so out of the box uh, what i was telling is uh, dependency injection is the uh, one of the crucial factors which we need to know in order to resolve my dependencies on the fly based on different incoming calls for that particular services so whenever you are writing any repository pattern right so you need to know actually how to implement how to simplify the process so di actually the fundamental thing is like it it gives you a decoupled uh, decoupled structure of everything i mean whenever you are calling any services another fact is like whenever you are writing any test cases right so in that case rather than going uh, calling actual services like uh, db context you can have your fake context and you can test against that so in the constructor itself uh, it you can write the things like uh, when to invoke this uh, actual context or when to invoke this um, fake context so this is how uh, di comes into picture and helps you into that so i hope you enjoyed this session in the next section we will implement uh, different http verbs like post put delete patch whatever is there is whatever is the pending things so till then stay tuned happy coding